Hello YouTube and happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so technically Valentine's Day is actually still just a couple of days away, but people are going to be celebrating all weekend. So allow me to start the celebrations early with my Valentine's Day celebration. Today I am going to be sharing with you a couple of things that I absolutely love and we're going to call that celebrating because it's a good thing to share things that you love with people that you love. So the first thing on my list of things to share is Hamilton. Like absolutely everyone else in the universe or possibly just in the United States, I don't know, I have been in love with Hamilton. More specifically, I've been in love with the soundtrack because Broadway is kind of far from my location and getting there is not within my current means. That said, uh, Hamilton will be going on tour soon and hopefully I will get to go to one of their tour spots next spring. That's soon. That's like a year away. It's fine. Uh, I really love the soundtrack. I love the way that the characters are all written from what I've gathered from the soundtrack and that Eliza Hamilton and that Angelica Schuyler, like wow, wow, they're so great. The characters are so great. The cast is amazing and so like diverse and great and the music style is fantastic and probably most of you already know all of this. <laughs> So I will go into one of the elements that I love most about Hamilton, and that is the way that they tell Eliza Hamilton's story and the way that they have her come in at the end and say, I am the one who curated all of Alexander Hamilton's papers. I am the one who like continued his legacy when he was no longer with us. and. It is such a powerful moment, especially when we take into account the way that history is told and the way that there are so many stories of the founding mothers or wives or women that we don't get because we they weren't all Eliza Hamilton and they didn't all have a Lin-Manuel Miranda to come in and, you know, illuminate that for us. And it makes me just feel so happy to know that even though we might not be getting those stories, they exist. And Eliza Hamilton being the beacon that shines that light is just, it's beautiful and lovely and fantastic. So if you haven't heard Hamilton, you should go listen to it. And if you have, please feel free to fan and geek out down in the comments below. That brings us to our second thing that I am going to be sharing with you. Uh, if you have been following me on Twitter, you know that I have been geeking out about this for literally weeks, and that is Kamisama Hajime Mashita. It is an anime and also a manga, and it's just delightful. <laughs> Uh, my good friend Marissa suggested it one day on Twitter, I believe, and I listened to her and that was both a great and terrible thing because I have just had so much fun and I am so sad because I am out of new episodes from the anime and new chapters from the manga. and. It is this adorable uh, story. It's equal parts slice of life and supernatural fun times. Uh, there's a young girl who goes to live at a shrine and chaos ensues, which is the best way that I can put it. There's a great romance plot. There are actually probably a couple. And um, if you enjoyed Sailor Moon or anything sort of in that same lighthearted epic romance vein, Kamisama Hajime Mashita is for you. It's also called Kamisama Kiss in its English marketing versions, so you can check that out. That way it's a little bit easier to type and spell and it's not nearly as many characters. So for those of you who might end up tweeting about it, that's important. So yeah, 
those are the two things that I'm really into right now. I have also been enjoying Sailor Moon Crystal again because as it turns out when you run out of an anime and a manga that is so good you need something to fill the hole in your heart. Sailor Moon Crystal was obviously the best candidate for that so I am going to go watch some more of that and until next time Enjoy your Valentine's celebrations. If you're celebrating, I hope you and whoever you celebrate with have a wonderful time. Read more books, play more games, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye, YouTube.